guys welcome back to another video it's your girl later the period oh oh girl. make sure you see the video so comment comes to the fix any post questions and hit the subscribe button down below and for today's we're going to be reacting to protect uncle waffles from being a zahara this is what's happening to her oh wait there was i think there was a video that i saw i think it was just the title or something oh was it on instagram people like it said something that zahara is asking for money I don't know what's going on with Zahara. I don't know if she hit rock bottom. I saw Gigi Lamain on Temptation Island. Did she hit rock bottom? I mean, her makeup. Honey, why are you a celebrity and you're on Temptation Island? Is the music situation not working anymore? And her makeup. Like, really? But anyways, let's just react to this video. Let's see what's going on. I mean, how can Uncle Ophos be like Zahara if she's popping? Especially Drake is making her pop even more. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Mzansi, the South African music industry has gained traction since COVID-19 restrictions were uplifted and again by the massive Amabiano takeover. Similarly to our American and UK counterparts, it is now possible for local musical artists starting out to monetize and live off of their music. But many upcoming artists suffer the unfair act of exploitation from their management. Mm. Hey, hey, Zansi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News, Mzansi. If you're new to my channel, you know you have the stories. Go ahead. Hey, he's the the record label. He's manager. And you'll never miss an update. So, Mzansi, the hottest DJ in the country right now is Uncle Waffles. Now, Uncle Waffles is alleged to be facing this unjust act following after stars such as Lady Duke, Zahara and Amanda Black, who have also fought illegal battles against their management that milked so much from them, leaving them with spare change to take home after their hard work. I'm not now, earlier I'm this not week, film Bella shared receipts and reported that Uncle Waffles, whose birth name is Lungelise Zwane, had reached number one on all streaming platforms locally with her hit song Tanzania. Now, proving that the newcomer is making a good amount of money not only from her unending gig guide but from music musical streams, downloads, and iTunes purchases as well. But is she enjoying what's due to her at all? Now, yesterday, rumors about the star being exploited by her management team, Creative Corner, since the beginning of her skyrocketing career. It is alleged that the management team is taking 40% of the musician's earnings from her gigs, music, and other endorsements, making it 100% markup from the 20% standard management fee in the industry, locally and globally. Now, Musa Kaula tweeted, Uncle Waffles, management said to be exploiting her. Uncle Waffles is Always. paying 40% of her earnings to Creative Corner in comparison to the 20% rate charged by managers worldwide. Now, this international DJ who's been gigging non-stop since last October has had arguably one of the best years in her career. And fans across the social media streets are wishing her well and hoping mm. that she finds a better team Especially to manage great. and run her brand. They have been sharing their opinions and takes on the rumors and mass stand audience believes that the star also needs training in the business of music in order to be able to negotiate better deals in the future. Now, Mzansi, a Twitter user by the name of Tutu I really wish Uncle Waffles to be wise with her investments because all the neighbors are eagerly waiting for her downfall. Another user mm. wrote in a lengthy and eager tweet, I saw it in pictures that Uncle Waffles is stressed. They are not paying her <laughs> enough while she is the one doing all the hard work. The only thing they do is take pictures of her. Let's protect her. Let's call her management out before we lose we we'll lose her or get another Zahara vibe. Now, Mzansi, popular Twitter influencer Chris Excel also weighed in on the Uncle Waffles issue with pessimism. The user wrote, insinuating that the DJ does not mix and master her own mixes, but has someone doing that for her. Y'all must remember that there is a person who does pre-mixes for Uncle Waffles, so she put USB and dance while the music is playing. That guy needs to be paid too. <laughs> now this DJ and her management team have not yet commented on these rumors, Mzansi, and she is still getting around the country together with uh, that management. Now there you have it, Mzansi. What is your take on all these issues about exploitation to especially new and up and coming artists in the country? Do leave your thoughts on the comment section. You know, I'd love to hear from you. But for now, you know, I will bring you the updates. Hot shows. Do you look good? But anyways, I mean, everybody gets exploited. Like, exploitation is like not new at this point. 
is not new at this point. That's how, I feel like that's how Courtney speaks, but that's out of topic. <laughs> I just honestly feel like the music industry is always gonna rob our people. Like, yo, the music industry. I feel like before you get in there, you must know what you are getting into. That's why I love Christian, and I know this is also out of topic. Christian manages her kids, and she earns a percentage. It's like Bro, how can you rob by your own kids? I mean, two of her kids are billionaires and the rest are millionaires. Like, whether she's managing their businesses or not, whether she's managing their businesses or not, like, she's gonna get a lot of money. So there's no point in being greedy anyways because she's managing their businesses, but they are the ones that are actually bringing their businesses attention. I mean, Kylie Jenner's skincare, the kid care, the 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 makeup the makeup i mean she even starting a swimsuit line she she already got, she became a billionaire off of one thing but now she has three extra things kim has a kkw beauty her makeup it, it, and i'm not saying everybody should have their parents be managers like that's not a job that is cut out for everyone chris jenna knows what she's doing i mean she's doing what she's doing and she's doing it well two of her kids are billionaires the rest of them, are, they're all wealthy. Let's just think in a nutshell. Uncle Waffles, I, I'm not even going to speak much on, on on, on, her situation because I don't even know the depths of it. I don't know how serious it is. That's what I'm saying. How do people know that she's going through this? Like, Do they have the contracts? Are you looking at the contracts while they are signing? And I... And I don't, I, don't, I'm not, I don't even know much about the music industry like that. But I know a lot of people always complain about getting exploited. All I'm going to say, if you want to get into the industry, get into it knowing what you're getting yourself into and what could possibly happen to you. Because hey, look, Zahara has been having it rough. But anyways, make sure you give a big thumbs up. Comment, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications, and hit the subscribe button down below. It's your girl.